crime fighters, I'm Ray the DA and this is Straight Talk. The cost of crime in Lexington for 2012. You know the anti-punishment gang continues to shout as loud as they can, we can't afford to put criminals in prison or jail. They never really discuss the real cost of crime. Y'all know why? <laughs> because they're scared to death what they'll find out. <clears throat> well, I'm going to talk about the real cost of crime here in Lexington during 2012. First, you need to understand that it cost $22 million to incarcerate 1,100 prisoners in our Fayette County Detention Center for a year. $22 million. Well, did you know that the value of stolen property in Lexington during 2012 was $24.5 million? And count the damage that they caused. Third, the real cost of crime is $54 million, which includes pain and suffering and fear suffered by victims of Part 1 crime during 2012. These figures don't count the the almost 10,000 part two crimes against our fellow citizens during that year, nor does it count the other costs to Fayette County taxpayers for things such as fire department ambulance runs or the associated medical expenses of victims which the state must absorb if they're uninsured. Those who really think that incarceration is too expensive and insist on pushing these hoodlums out of the prisons have the enormous moral responsibility of justifying to these new victims of these criminals who continue to commit crimes while they're still out and able to victimize even more people when they really should be in jail is obvious. We really can't afford to incarcerate wrong. Based on the costs of crime, we really can't afford not to send these hoodlums to the slammer. I'm Ray the DA and this is Straight Talk. <laughs>